Bike safety advocates are calling for new safety measures. They say the death of a young girl last summer highlights the dangers they face every day. CBS 2's Noel Brennan is live in Streeterville with new details on a lawsuit filed by her parents and some new proposals to protect bicyclists. Noel. Well, Erica, cyclists will tell you that bike lanes in Chicago are routinely blocked by cars, trucks, you name it. In fact, Bike Lane Uprising, it's a group, they've been tracking the numbers since 2017. They've documented more than 33,000 cases. One case from last summer led to the death of a three-year-old girl. Now there's a new lawsuit as cycling advocates continue to call for safer streets. We filed a lawsuit in this case to try to find justice for Lily. The lawsuit announced from a high-rise office. Lily's death was not an accident. Impacts Chicagoans sharing the streets below. Unfortunately, this is a danger that cyclists in the city of Chicago have been citing for decades. Bike advocates are in the room with attorneys filing a lawsuit on behalf of the parents of three-year-old Lily Shambrook. They're suing ComEd, the city, and others after Lily died last summer. The ComEd truck was obstructing the bike lane. The toddler was on a bike with her mom in Uptown when they got caught between a ComEd truck parked illegally in the bike lane and a moving semi. We are demanding safe streets in the city of Chicago. The loss jolted Chicago cyclists into action, jamming Chicago streets this summer. It's our bread and butter, it's our bike protest where we ride four miles per hour and everyone is welcome to join. Ronnie Islam is an organizer with Chicago Bike Grid Now, tired of piecemeal change. Specifically, we're asking for a citywide grid of um, mostly residential streets where we have 10 mile per hour speed limits. His group is part of a new coalition, Safe Streets for All, Transit That Works, a group peddling its way into politics. As of today, we've gotten the support of 26 aldermanic candidates in Chicago who have endorsed the bike grid. How often do you think Chicagoans are thinking about bike safety when they're looking at the ballot? I think quite often. When I'm biking in Chicago, there isn't a single day where I'm biking and I don't feel like I could be killed. So when I go to vote, it's definitely going to be on top of mind. So the coalition is planning a mayoral candidate forum later this month, and the group says that five of the nine candidates have committed to being there. We're reporting in Streeterville tonight. Noel Brennan, CBS2 News. Thank you, Noel.